guys, it's Nikki, and as promised, this is my, as you can tell, my June favourites video, I suppose you could call it. And um, I don't have as much as I thought I was going to have, so your coffee's not going to go down as much as I thought it was going to do, but hey. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to jump right in, and if you watched my last video, you would know that I did the Creighton's squeaky clean stuff. I have just used this and it is absolutely amazing so yes it is for now in my June favourites whether it makes it to July is a different story but it smells amazing it's literally mixed fruits with a strawberry tone that is higher than the other scents but it's absolutely gorgeous it lathers up beautifully and it does make you feel all nice and relaxed so that has made it into my June favourites as predicted also in my June favourites are these two of the possibilities which I picked up the other week from the factory shop. This one is nicer in the shower which is the vanilla creme brulee but this one is much better in the bath as a bubble bath which is the raspberry pavlova. I won't use either of them as the shower gel because obviously I use my argan shower gel. Hello brain! Shampoo? Oh, we're getting there. I won't use either of them for shampoo because I use my Argan shampoo for my hair. But shower for the vanilla bathtub for the raspberry pavlova. That's how I prefer to do it anyway. But that's that bit. Also, I am loving the Mella and Russell Miracle Moisture Hair Repair Mask at the moment. I leave this in my hair, wet hair, well damp hair, for five, to, sort of five to seven minutes, ten if I forget. Leaves my hair as you can see, lovely, shiny and semi-tamed, which for thick hair is actually quite a big thing to do. And a lot of ladies know how bad my hair can get. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, this one's absolutely brilliant. I did get this from Poundland and I will be going back for another one. I'm also liking, I'm having to make this quick because I know my battery blower's dying. I'm loving this. I've been buying this for about 10 years now. Still loving it, so I thought I'd stick it in a June's favourite in two June's favourite and that's the Schwarzkopf Gliss Hair Repair Spray absolutely brilliant this stuff you spray it onto your hair if you feel like you're having a dull day and it brings the shine back like it's just you know absolutely brilliant or if you just want extra vroom to your hair it's lovely I love this stuff and this I can't remember where I picked this up from, to be honest, because I pick it up from so many different places. I know it is available in a lot of drugstores, so, and cosmetic places, stuff like that. But this one is for dry, damaged hair, and it's absolutely brilliant. Also, what I'm liking is when you have what they call second day hair, and this one I've used that much, it's lids become wonky look. <laughs> but this is the Attitude Dry Shampoo. Looks like this. I've lost the lid. And this is great for second day hair. And also with second day hair, if you want to get a bit more volume going. And so like you're doing updos and stuff like that. I find this is brilliant for that. So I won't be using this tomorrow, obviously. But this has got a gorgeous fruity smell to it as well. So really enjoying this. And this was under a pound or just over a pound from Savers. Also on the hair side of things... This is what came in my June birch box, and I tried this the other night, and it's really good. Better than this one, it has to be said. But it's high-end product, I suppose, so what do you expect? But that's the Silk and Honey Shea Butter Hair Mask. It looks like this. It's got such a gorgeous sort of... I'm trying to think. It's like a sweet pea smell, I think that's the best one. Almost Palmer Violets, but it's gorgeous scent to it. It doesn't look like I've used it because of the way it lays flat so every time, but absolutely love this for my hair. And I did get quite, quite a few compliments when I went out the next day, and it was all fly away and lovely. But yes, loving that at the moment. It's very expensive, so I don't think I'll be getting the full range. Also, on the boring side of things, I'm loving my T-Zone wipes at the moment. These are the Shine Control Cleansing Wipes from T-Zone. 49 pence from Savers, really, really good for taking all of your makeup off, even the waterproof mascara, including the Benefit mascara, which they say 
can't go anywhere. I've got it off with this one, so loving that. Perfume wise, I am loving this stuff. I picked this up from the market a few weeks back, and it is Miss Dollar. As you can see, I'm halfway through already. I spray this on every day before I go to work. Absolutely gorgeous scent. I'll just one spritz does it all. It's a very, I would say, more mature scent. It's not florally in any way. It's almost got a musky type smell to it. Absolutely love it. I don't know what this is the dupe for though. I will go on Google and find out for you and I'll put it in the description down below if I can find it. But I bought that from my local market, so yeah. Also what I'm liking, on a roll, if you remember a while back I bought six polishes, six polishes, oh we're doing well, six lipsticks for a pound. I'm still loving them, absolutely loving them. I've only got the one out at the moment because the, you know, just look back through my videos you can see the other five colours. This is the one that I'm wearing today. They don't have names I'm afraid, but that's the colour of the one I'm wearing today. There we go, I'll do a little swatch. They're very, very pigmented and really moisturising. Can't go wrong. It does have 902 written on the bottom and it is by the company New Days. There we go. But it's really moisturising and if you want, you can actually blend it out. So just put a small dab in the centre of your lips and blend it out with your finger for a more subtle shade. Tip. <laughs> Also, I am loving, I'm going to make this quick, I'm, I told you it was going to be a long video and I've got lots of items, I have got lots of items, I've just got to make it quick. <laughs> I'm loving the Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss, absolutely love this. I've got this over the top of that New Days and as you can see, lots of gloss and it's not as Nikki or Knick Knack 1171 would say, it's not sticky or whatsoever. And you don't feel like your lips are sticking together with it, which is really good. I wear this every day for work for that extra bit of... I know, I'm daft. Same as Gemsy. I am loving the Rimmel Scandalize Black Eyeliner. I don't want to go into this too much because it has turned up in a couple of... And it's also in my 14 Favourites of June video, so... But I'm loving that. It go the consistency, the lasting, the durability of this, absolutely brilliant. I'm also loving the other Rimmel eyeliner that I got, which is the Exaggerate in gold. Absolutely love that. The smudger brush at the other end is really good as well. So loving that one. I'm also loving the Max Factor Vibrant Curve Effect Lip Gloss. This is more of an evening one. Absolutely brilliant. This one... I got from the factory shop for either 50 or 75p, but I know it is still available on the Max Factor website, so go and check that one out. Last but by no means least, I've got two nail polishes. One is one that came in my June Birch box, and that is the Tiny Teeny Little OPI, which is the Pewter Oil on Water colour. Absolutely gorgeous colour. I am going to be switching up maybe, because I've got my holographics on, so maybe not today. But when I do change my nails, I will be putting that one on. But one that I am loving, as you can tell. Don't know whether that's going to show because my lighting is really strange right now because it's pitch black dark outside. But I am loving this Barry M No Name Polish. But it is holographic polish, as you can see. I've only had this about a week. And look how much I've used already. Oops. I think I might have to buy some more. But I love the fact that the holographic in this is gorgeous and I really, really, really want this to show. Come on, hold it back here, will it show? There we go. But I love the fact that it's got the large holographic dots and the small holographic glitters in there as well and the clear base and it dries really quickly as well. There's not really a need for a top coat but me being a creature of habit, I top coat anyway, so. But there we go. I managed to get this one just under 10 minutes, although I am now going to waffle, so it will go over 10 minutes. I think, yep, that's every 
anything from my June favourites at the moment, although June's nearly gone, so look forward to my July favourites. Anyway, I'm going to finish it up here because it's getting late and I've got to put all of this up onto YouTube, obviously. So thank you ever so much for watching. Again, excuse me, thank you to my new subscribers and a big, big thank you to my loyal and faithful subscribers, especially those that have been with me from the very, very start. Absolutely adore every single one of you as always. And look out for in future times, there will be that giveaway that I was talking about in my last video. And I think that's about it. And if I can say the word and anymore, I think there'll be a counter. <laughs> there won't be, trust me. Anyway, I'm going to get off now. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening, day, afternoon or morning, depending on what time you're watching this. And I shall speak to you all soon. Bye.